Just because we're dumbasses don't mean you can be too. So don't do any of the we do at home. This is Cash Days. Tonight, we got about 20 to 24 people racing tonight to see who would be the fastest. Um, it's coming to the end of the year. And there's going to be one more big one. This is considered big. Me and OD are planning. Mostly OD, you know. Props to him. He's planning everything. But I'm just helping him on the side. This is a big one. We plan it out and then we race. So there's going to be one more after this for the year. And then I think a Christmas cash days or a New New Year's. Something like that he planned. But there's will be one more big cash days at the end of the year. To see who's maybe the fastest of 2020. You know, who ends up the fastest. And uh, that's the whole plan. Because we do pop-ups. You, you, you see me post... Those are just pop-up cash days. They don't matter. You know, I take my JDM cards. Nobody tries, but this is for, you know, this is serious right here. Like, I guess you could say, and everybody took it serious. And it was a fun event. Hope you guys enjoy, and let's get into racing. Coming out today, participating in this cash days. There was more people, but shit, it's okay. They were too scared to come. Have... Yeah, they're too scared <laughs> to come. All right, uh. Saying about this, they're gonna be in the first round call out. I got a call, or Aqua first called me call. out actually before hey, this. Raise your hand, raise your hand, raise your hand, right, Dingo, who you calling out? Aqua called me out, so we're running that. Aqua, we're going last, Aqua, out, out right. of first round, last. Last and first round, let me yeah, write yeah, that yeah, down. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm going to kind of be over here so you won't put me in the pairing. Any other call outs, who we got right there? Uh, that Aqua, leave the uh, line now. I'll call out, you call out TJ. Yep. You money, calling out TJ, TJ, you accept? <laughs> All right. Uh, race, hey, can we race in the, 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 the race in the first round? Yeah. Look, All right. You either gotta go first or last. Hey, I'm last. I'm last. Oh, so they have to go first. Yeah, That's right, Ricky Bobby. That's just how the call outs are. First or last. You're either first or last. All right, JJ and uh, G Money. Write it down for me, Diego. Oh, shit. It's gonna be. All right. Is there gonna be any other call outs? Probably got a Android. Hey, I caught the one with the black Hermes. I don't know what's Shit. Who is it? Axel? Okay, it's Axel yeah, and Boosted. Okay. With a black army brain. Yeah, he has a black one. I think that's right. it, OD. First off the trailer. First off the trailer is going to be with the call outs, TJ and G Money. And then we got the other call out, Aqua versus. I oh, know. No, I'm going last. Boosted. I'm saying. It's Boosted and Axel, yeah. Boosted versus Axel? Okay, Boosted, boosted and Axel. And third pair, we're drawing out the bucket, is going to be. Country and Joe. Fourth pair is gonna be Snorlax and Diego. Come on, first round. Fifth pair is gonna be M3 and OD. Uh, sixth pair is gonna be Sinkow and Gearhead. Seventh pair is gonna be Chancellor and Danny. Uh, eighth pair is gonna be Sosa and Hemi. First off the trailer, we got G Money in the Sultan RS and TJ in the Sylvestra. You know. Uh, G Money's been racing that Sol in a while in pop ups and he's been doing really good. Not gonna lie. tj has been struggling in the Sylvester. I thought he would have brought his GB today, but he did bring the Sylvester because it's double clutches. So let's see how he, he runs tonight. Off the rip, G Money kills him off the start. You know, he they live together, but all wheel drive car against rear wheel, kinda, you know, you gotta stick with him. If you're gonna hit the boost, you gotta be right with him. And you know, TJ struggled with the car and hopefully he can come back next time. Next up we got Axel in the C10 and boosted in his Herms. You know, both quick and iffy drivers, both on bags, you know. So I mean, should be a good one, even race. And uh let's see who can take the dub on this one.
don't know what Boosted was doing, but Axel got out. Uh, Boosted left the line first. Axel just pulled around them. I don't know what happened to Boosted. You know, might have missed Boost or something. Uh, something happened on the line that didn't work. But Axel took the dub, and he's moving on to the second round. Country and Joe, always a good, you know, matchup. Country in the Nova, Joe in the Hellfire. Joe's a pretty good driver. Country is a pretty good Hellfire. They're 50-50 sometimes. Sometimes they mess up. But, you know, that's the good thing about racing. You never know what could happen. I don't know what happened to Country. You know, he stays first and he spun the wheels, automatically let off a bit. And by the time he gets back on it, Joe's already about half track, you know, full track down. So Joe gives the gap sauce. Joe moves on to the second round. Snorlax and Larry, both in GT Classics. Larry's been driving it way more. You know, Snorlax, I would have preferred him to bring a truck because that's what he's used to. He's not used to the GT, but he knew everyone's going to bring fast cars. So he just, you know, brought this out and, you know, he got to see what he can do. As expected, Larry takes the dub, you know, they left evenly, hits the boost, and he's out of there, you know, Snorlax, I don't know, he's not used to the car, the GT's boost's kind of weird, kind of like the Nova, but Larry moves on. OD versus M3, both in Novas, same thing that what happened last race, M3, heard there was going to be faster cars, he usually drives like JDM or whatever, but he brought Nova, not used to it, so I'm pretty sure OD easily hand him the nail. If OD's making those passes all night, OD's gonna take home the dub because there's no stopping that Nova if you get it down. And, you know, M3 wasn't ready. He barely got the car. I think it was today and he was testing with it, but wasn't enough to stop the murder Nova. Gearhead and Senkau. Gearhead and the Nova, Senkau and the GT, a Flash GT. He was, me and OD were testing with him the night before this and he was making passes up the ass like super good. So we were kind of afraid of that matchup tonight. A big upset, uh, Gearhead takes the dub. I don't know what happened to Senkau. He didn't launch like he usually does, but you know, Gearhead, props to him, pulled around him, gave him the gap sauce. Senkau would have had a good run, but I don't know what happened to the car. Danny and Chancellor, both decent, you know? I mean, Danny, you can call him a heavy hitter, I guess you could say in the community. Chancellor hasn't put his name up there yet, but maybe tonight can be the night that he puts his name up there in the books with everyone. Another big upset, I would have called Danny taking this dub, you know, 10 times out of 9 times out of 10, Danny's taking that dub. Chancellor, you know, pulled an upset. Even though he's in a hellfire, he's not the best driver, but he's getting there. And I respect everyone who's grinding for it. Hemi and Sosa. Hemi's another top Nova driver, I would say. Sosa, he is, he has proven himself in no prep. A couple of cash days that his hellfire is quick. So I wouldn't doubt this would be a pretty close and good race. Sosa takes off on them, you know, Hemi went for boost, I don't know, it looks like he hit it, because he was pulling, but he said he didn't, so I don't know what was the story there, but uh, Sosa got him by a car, two of the LCSC, whatever, members out, and that's uh, GG. Sold and Gap, Sold has been hauling ass in that hellfire lately, you know, a couple cash days, and then Gap Band, haven't really seen them run as much. But people say he's fast, I don't believe it, and we'll just see what happens. Mm -hmm. 
gotta give props to Gap Band, you know? I didn't, I bet against him on this race. I had Soul winning all day. Soul just punched it, spun, I don't know, something happened to his car, and Gap Band easily gave him the Gap Sauce. Me and Aqua, last pair, I was looking for callouts all night, and then Aqua shut me up and he said he'd call me out. So he called me out finally. Nobody wanted to race me. I was calling everyone out literally. Sucks, but I got matched up with Aqua. The crow did his job, you know, took off, made good boost. Had a good A to B pass. I already knew I was going to take home the dub because I don't know what that car really could do. It might be fast, but I wasn't, I wasn't seeing it as a threat. I move on to next round. Another member out of the way. Me and the Crow. Nobody wanted to race me first up. You know, I was really, literally begging everyone. Ah, but it is what it is. You know, when you have a big name, I guess people don't want to race you. I'm not even that fast, but it is what it is. And we move on to next round. All right. Second round of cash days. First off the trailer, we gonna get Diego and Gearhead. Oh fuck, alright. Oh. Then we got G Money and Chancellor. Oh shit. Ding okay, and hold Papa up. Axel. Okay. O D and Joe. Oh, that's okay. And Gap and Sosa. Gap and Sosa. Ooh, all right. Shit. I got Sosa on that one. Rivalry <laughs> shit right here, bro. Right. Hey Mike. First race of the second round, it's Gearhead and Larry. Gearhead pulled an upset against that Flash GT Senkau. So I'm pretty sure he got something under there. And Larry, you know, he's one of the top dogs around here. So I'm always going to put my bet around a Midwest slash PBSO member, which is Larry. Against anyone, Larry's my boy. It was a little closer than I expected it, you know? Uh, Gearhead was there, hit the double clutch, they were together. Uh, Larry's top end pulls in and he gets him by about a car, car and a half. Larry moves on to the third round. Gearhead made solid hits tonight, props to him, and yeah. Next up we got Chancellor and G-Money. Chancellor took out Danny, big upset. And G-Money took out TJ, you know, it, was, it is what it is. But, you know, I got Chancellor on this one as a double clutch car and it should be an easy pull around. Props to G Money. He's driving the hell out of the Sultan. This cash day says no guessing. We cannot guess. If you guess, you lose. We want to see who's actually the fastest. And G Money's hauling ass in that Sultan. I don't know if Chancellor did anything wrong, but that should be an easy pull around. And props to G Money. He moves on. I get matched with Axel, a truck. You know, this was the the pair I wanted to get, you know, because it's not the guy driving it to the, the car. I see the truck as a duck for my car, at least. And it should be an easy round for me, at least. Crow did its work, got out. If I get out and the GT can't catch me, that's why I wanted to get matched up with the truck because if it doesn't guess, there's no point of bringing it because it doesn't have the speed as every other car. That's why I had to bring out the GT Classic tonight, make a statement, and move on to the next round. Joe and OD, both PBSO. You know, I'll root, I'll root for both of them. Either way, it's a win for us because they move on. But, you know, my boy OD, Murder Nova, always going to go for him either way. A little bit more than Joe, but either way, it's a win for the team. Like I said, if OD's running these races all night, he could easily take home the dub. Joe put up a fight. OD put up more of a fight. He almost crossed. Gets him by half a car. Shout out to OD because he ran Joe after his A button fucked up. So props to OD. Osa and Gap Band, two Hellfires. You know, 
Hellfire and Hellfire action isn't really my thing, but if it's a close race, I guess it's good. You know, Gap Band moved on and Sosa moved on, both underestimated opponents, and they're here. Sosa had it in the bag, you know, Gabban out 60 footed him, Sosa had him, missed his boost, and Gabban easily pulled around him, you know, it sucks when that happens, you know, I get mad, everybody gets mad when you miss boost, it's a common thing, you know, you never know if you're, you, you can't hit it all the time unless you're that good, I guess, not even the best to it, I always miss it, even though I'm not the best, you know, Braxton does it, Diego misses it, everybody, but it is what it is, and that's the end of the second round. Third round of the cast days. Just go on. We got some ugly motherfuckers right here. Hell yeah, man. Hey, all I gotta say, boys, I did not expect G Money or Gabbat to make it this far. I'll I'll give it up to you guys. They've been working on the cards. Yeah, man. I don't know. I would expect some other people that lost first round to be here, but they kind of I'm not gonna talk. I'm not gonna get into that. All right. Mm -hmm. Alright, first, first pair down the road, it's gonna be G-Money versus Ooh! Oh, oh shit! Okay, wait, 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 oh, wait, wait. The gayest guy got it, so it's either me or Larry who got the buys. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. Alright, who got the buy? Who's gonna race Gap Band? I'ma just say who got the buy. Okay, go for it. Gay-ass Diego. Oh, Larry! Oh God, I didn't want it. Oh I didn't want it. All right, Larry. All right. Good luck, Gap Man. First pair of the third round, OD versus G Money. To me, if I was OD, I would just not sleep. If you sleep on that thing, even if there's no guessing, it is you know, a tough opponent. But in reality, it is an easy pull around. So as long as OD runs his run, hits his boost, takes off, easy, easy. This is his dub to take home. Like I said, couldn't sleep. OD, I don't know what to call it here. Cause I don't know if OD slept or not. I couldn't really tell. He was pulling hard. He lost by half a car. G Money just hauling ass and assaulting, and you just gotta give it up to G Money for this one. Me and Gap Band raced them a couple times in pop ups. The score is about like 10 to 2, maybe, you know, pop up wise. Should be an easy win, and uh, I feel like I should go to the final on this one. This is my dub. Respect to Gabban, I underestimated him. You know, my boost didn't get the full wheel spin version, got like a little poppy one, couldn't pull around him, and he got me by about, you know, half a car to a car. But, you know, I underestimated him, that's how you just don't underestimate nobody. You know, it sucks. I'm thinking about all the things I could have done, but at the end of the day, I lose. I'm not gonna complain about it, I just take my L like a man instead of saying reruns or anything. This is my fault, I take the L. Gap Band deserves to move on. Third round, it's going to be Diego and Gap Band. So G Money gets to buy into the final. I respect G Money for bringing an all wheel drive car, all wheel drive JDM. That's something I would do and run it that good. You know, props to him, me as a JDM driver as usual. You know, it's always good seeing other people drive good like that. So props to him, he's in the final. But now we got Diego and Gap Band, a GT versus. Uh, Hellfire, as long as Diego doesn't fuck up like I do, he should take home the dub. Larry got lucky, I don't know what Gabban did. Gap out 60 footed him. I think he might have missed a little boost. And Larry pulls around him like it's nothing, wins by about a car. 
you know, a little payback, you know, he did it for me, I know he did, <laughs> but still, Gatman put up a fight, you know, he's here, he went top three of a cash days, hopefully in the next one, maybe he could win one, you never know, just gotta run your race, don't listen to nobody, none of the haters or none of that, just run your race, and pretty simple, pretty simple as that. This is the final, this is Larry and G-Money, if Larry runs his race, like everybody who faced G-Money was supposed to do, he should win. He got a launch with him, double clutch, easy polar round. But G-Money has been fighting his way up to the final. I respect it, and I respect Larry. Either way, it's going to be a good final, and I hope we see a good race. Larry did his job, as you can see in the slow-mo, he leaves the line before G-Money, G-Money slept it, he was a little worried, you know, but props to Diego, because G-Money jumped the race before this, it was a little tire crack, a big controversy uh, call, they both jumped, but G-Money cracked first, and then the end of the story, they re-ran it, and Diego took home the dub, which means, I guess... You could say he's the fastest right now, even though we didn't have everybody there. Like, we still have Dude that didn't show up. We still have Morg, Loki, BW, uh, Tyler. There's a lot of people that didn't show up either way. We're just trying to grow the community, trying to get some more events going on because it's been a little dead. We're just doing pop-ups left and right. That's why OD was talking to me about hosting some big, more planned-out cash days. It's going to be no guessing, you know, mostly just straight-up racing, double-clutch only. And Xbox, you know, the simple stuff. So congrats to congrats to Larry. Three mil in his pocket. And uh, there's going to be one more big cash days, I hear. And then there's going to be a random New Year's or Christmas cash days I was hearing about. So stay tuned for those videos. I have a lot more videos to drop about cash days, pop-ups. And then the big ones are going to be edited like Street Outlaw version like this. Hope you guys enjoy. See you in the next one.